Hi my loves, welcome back to Lavender. I took two weeks off to travel through Italy with my family and I had such a fun time. The older I get, the more I cherish opportunities to travel with family because I know the chances are rare and our time together is limited. I was with my mom, aunt, uncle, cousin, and her boyfriend and we went to Rome, Amalfi Coast, Florence, and Venice in 16 days. It was beautiful and the food was amazing obviously. What's funny is that throughout our trip, I didn't post once on social media, not even one IG story, and I really only opened Instagram maybe three or four times. I just wasn't compelled to like I used to be, and it was easier to just be present and enjoy the moment. I also allowed myself to take time off posting on YouTube. It's been a month since my last video, and this is probably the longest I haven't posted in a while. I've noticed a shift within, and I think what's happening is I'm able to let go of the expectation that I always have to be on, that because social media is my job, I need to always be posting, creating, and showing up. What was in the past an expectation and identity that I held onto is now something that I can calmly release knowing that it's not really necessary and it doesn't define me. Untangling my sense of self-worth from social media and work in general is something I'm finally able to grasp after so many years. As someone who easily gets stuck in the leaves of my day-to-day -day work and responsibilities, it's sometimes hard for me to take a step back and realize that what I may be stressing about in the moment isn't actually a big deal in the larger scheme of things. When you're deep in something, it can feel like your entire world. When things aren't going well, that stress and anxiety colors your life and everything feels tense and difficult. I love traveling because it allows you to remove yourself from your daily routine and place yourself in an entirely new environment. In a way, it allows you to zoom out of your life and see things more clearly. You get to evaluate your life from the outside, which is easier to do than when you're caught up in the never-ending to-do list, responsibilities, and obligations of your everyday life. To be honest, I had been going full speed with work this year and started to feel overwhelmed with everything on my plate. Once I got back from my trip, the first thing I did was to take time to reframe my priorities and declutter my to-do list so that I can go at a slower pace and find a sense of balance with my life again. So I am still in the process of rebalancing, reframing my priorities and trying to cut things out, trying to slow down so that I have less on my plate because my true goal is to live every day feeling fulfilled and free. So it doesn't mean I want to do nothing, like I want to do important and impactful things, but then I also want to have a lot of free time. <laughs> so that's my goal. It's funny because even trying to prioritize and cut things out, I still find myself having jam packed days just doing the most important things. While I was on vacation and even the week leading up to it, I just got all of these opportunities all happening at once. I didn't work during the vacation, but now that I'm back, it's like, okay, now I have to like, I'm doing important things every day. I'm having meetings, I have shoots. I just had so much that came to me all at once. And so I'm very grateful, but I am also managing and dealing with it. I am doing what I can though to work on releasing the feeling of overwhelm and the feelings of anxiety from my daily life because I know that it lives there. I know because when I left and I didn't work, that anxiety went away. <laughs> and then when I opened up Instagram or social media, just scrolling a little bit, like the anxiety comes back because it reminds me of work. On that note, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. If you are struggling with mental health, whether it's anxiety or something else, consider trying therapy. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and is 100% online. We all know healing is a journey and therapy is all about deepening our awareness and understanding of ourselves. It's also helpful to get a third person's point of view on your thoughts because sometimes they help you see what you can't see. It's also nice to have an outlet to express your thoughts and emotions and heal from any negative beliefs or patterns that may have held you back. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 25,000 licensed 
licensed and experienced therapist who can help you with a wide range of issues. To get started, just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences, and BetterHelp will match you with the right therapist from their network. You can then talk to your therapist via text, chat, phone, or video call. You can message them anytime and schedule live sessions whenever it's convenient for you. BetterHelp is more flexible and affordable than in-person therapy, and you can also switch therapists at no additional charge. You can get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash Eileen. I'll leave the link down below so you can check it out. Moving on, I think being away for half a month, being in a new environment allowed me to really reset my body and reset my mind in a lot of ways. It revealed to me how tense my body has been and how tense my everyday life makes me. You know, I'm not taking breaks throughout the day to take walks and I'm sitting at my computer all day and my shoulders get all tense and any stress or worries or any work things that give me any level of anxiety adds to like my shoulder tension i always have like such tense shoulders and i'm always like trying to stretch and release that tension there but another thing i learned about anxiety recently is it goes so deep to the anxieties that you had in your childhood like whatever you experience in your childhood if you had some level of anxiety then that story lives on in you if you haven't dealt with it it lives in your body and it also lives in your mind in a sort of way so it will come out as anxiety responding to new life situations ultimately the core of anxiety is that it is fear anxiety is because you're afraid of something whether you're afraid that something's gonna go wrong you're afraid that you're gonna make a mistake or you're afraid of some future thing that has yet to become reality and you're anticipating it and that anticipation gives you a level of stress because you're unable to control it you're unable to predict the outcome and control the outcome in the process of acknowledging that becoming aware of it and letting it go I've come to realize and learn that you have to have 100% love and trust with yourself and 100% love and trust with the universe, with the divine, whatever you believe that to be. If you are able to have that 100% level of love and trust with yourself, then you won't have anxiety because anxiety is the lack of trust. It's the lack of control. It's the lack of love to some level because Fear and love are on opposite ends of the spectrum. At least for me, I know that having anxiety means that I have some level of insecurity. There's a part of me that doesn't fully trust or fully love myself, truly believe in myself. I'm lacking that confidence in whatever it is. Let me know down below where you feel like you're at in this journey. How do you deal with anxiety? Have you overcome anxiety? Have you learned to let it go or at least some level of it go? Comment down below. Let me know if you have any tips. I'm sure everyone will would love to hear your tips. I feel like there's a lot more that I can say on this topic, but I'll save it for future videos where I have my thoughts a little more organized. But in the meantime, I'd love to share just updates on my life because there are so many updates that I do want to share with you. For example, our Dream Life Club has been going. We've been having monthly live events on Zoom, and I really enjoy throwing these live events, hosting them, and leading them. And I also enjoy like learning from other people. So I'm so super excited the next one we have coming up is june 1st and it is astrology for your dream career and purpose so essentially it's a workshop held by my friend alice who's a career astrologist and she's going to teach us how to use astrology to find your dream career and how to find your purpose and how like you know what the next steps are if you're feeling lost if you don't know what next job to take anything related to career and purpose and i love that topic it's so fun. I love that you can use astrology as a tool to get more clarity in that area of your life. So if you're interested, I'll leave the link down below on how to sign up for that workshop. You can either join our Dream Life Club, become a member and get access to all events, or you can just buy each workshop per event. After that, I'll be hosting a new moon ritual event on June 17th. That will be a Saturday and I'm going to do it at night at 10 p.m. PST because the new moon is like 9.30 p.m. and I think the closer you are to the new moon, like 
right after the new moon is the perfect time to like use that energy to set intentions and manifest. So I'm gonna do like a nighttime event, which should be fun. And I'm also excited because I know if some of you are in other parts of the world, you'll be able to make it. And lastly, the most exciting thing is that on that same day, June 17th, I'll be hosting a meetup, like a meet and greet event in person in LA. I have not done an in-person event in years. I think the last time I did one was end of 2018. <laughs> I've just been really shy since then. Every time I think of a in-person event, I get all like nervous, like, oh, what if no one shows up? I just have my anxieties around that. But anyway, I am excited about it because it's gonna be in LA at Century City Mall. 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. is the time frame that we set. I'll leave all the details down below as well as a link where you should sign up and RSVP to the event. I also wanna give out free lavender stickers so while supplies last we'll be giving out free stickers so come meet me get some stickers if you're in LA or in the area uh, this is very rare because I don't do live events if it goes well I may do more but We'll see. <laughs> we'll also be selling our Lavender shop products. So if you want to see anything in person, our TBH decks, our journals, our planners, anything, come so you can see it in person. I think we'll keep it at the store. It'll be like a pop-up. I don't know how long, I'll let you guys know later on, but we'll have the Lavender shop pop-up at Century City Mall at Keston. So you can go feel the products, even if you can't make the meetup, but you're close by, you can drop in anytime after the meetup to check out the products. Oh, I have another exciting update that I'll share in the upcoming video, but that's another vlog that I'll share for another day. But for now, there's been, actually there's has been a lot of action happening behind the scenes. I've been working and building Lavender, collaborating with people, and it's been fun, busy, but fun. <laughs> Alright, I hope you enjoyed this update. Love you so much. Thank you so much for watching and for being here. I really truly appreciate you. I will see you in the next one. Bye!